What's going on YouTube? So beside me is the new 2025 Ram 1500. The entire lineup has been thoroughly refreshed and one of the trim levels that we have always loved and a lot of you guys have always loved is the limited trim level. Now it's no longer the top dog trim level, that now belongs to the tungsten, but this is still a very luxurious truck and has some additional options that you might be interested in. So we're going to take a detailed look at this 2025 Ram 1500 Limited. So let's start off here with the exterior design. One of the things that Ram said they were able to do with the limited trim level, now that the tungsten exists, is kind of give this a little bit more of a sporty flair. And I think you can certainly see that as soon as you walk up to the limited trim level. So I'm gonna actually start out up here at the hood because one of the things that I noticed first of all is that we have this kind of performance hood. We've got the hood scoops here as well as up there just giving it a sportier flair like some of your sportier trim levels have been in the past. The other thing that really makes this uh, Limited look quite sporty is, that, is the fact that we can get this with the Night Edition package. That is what we have on this model. And as you can see, this is gonna black out everything up here in the front, including your big Ram branding. And overall, I think this looks absolutely fantastic with the dark red paint that is included here. Now, let's focus in on the headlights. We do have a new headlight design for 2025. We're gonna have projector adaptive LED headlight, and this is the premium cluster with dynamic turn signal indicators, as well as approach and exit animations. As we go down to the lower area, this will all be finished in a nice body color, and you will notice that we have LED fog lights. They just have a little bit of a less premium design than the tungsten. Now, before we talk about the wheels, I do wanna point something out. Um, all the trim levels of the Ram 1500, except for that top end tungsten model, will continue to have kind of the separation between the body and the bumper. That one has a fully integrated look for a little bit more of a you know seamless design. Now, taking a look at the wheels, Limited will come standard with 20 inch alloy wheels. We have the available 22 inch alloy wheels. And again, we have the night model as well. So that's gonna black everything out. And I think it looks fantastic. You also have black Ram badging and black mirror caps on today's example. And these mirrors will be fully loaded, of course, with all the features. So you have blind spot monitoring, heating, power folding, and driver side auto dimming. Now, before we get any further, I do want to mention that this limited trim level will come standard with the air suspension. So that's a very important thing, of course, when it comes to driving dynamics, but also when it comes to off-road capability. You can go as low as 6.7 inches of off the ground or as high as 10.7 inches off the ground, just depending on your situation. Now, as far as the side design, I do want to talk about this as well. The limited will, of course, come standard with the crew cab. And it does also have the option of getting the long bed, the six foot, four inch bed. That's what we have on today's example, which is something worth noting, something that the tungsten cannot get. That's gonna be locked into that standard five foot, seven inch bed. So if you want the longer bed, you will have to choose the limited trim level. And working our way around to the rear design of this Ram, of course, it's gonna be completely refreshed for 2025. And it's not a huge visual change, but all of the individual elements have been changed a little bit this year. Now, uh, I do wanna just go ahead and talk about the taillights because that's the biggest element with the refresh that's new. Uh, we have a new taillight design. These are going to be full LED. We have an LED reverse light as well. And these taillights also have the animation just like what we saw in the front. So a very nice premium feel to the taillight design. Now here on the limited model, all of this is going to be finished in a nice body color. I really like the way that looks. Additionally, we're going to have the dual integrated exposed exhaust outlets and these are a really nice dark finish. I actually really like the dark finish better than the chrome look. Uh, definitely a big fan of that. And then as far as the tow rating is concerned, uh, you get the high output motor standard, which means that you'll have a maximum of 11,500 pounds. Now this is a truck after all. So let's go ahead and talk about the tailgate and bed situation. Now, as far as this area is concerned, there is a little bit of complication going on because typically for the 
uh, 2025 version, you'll have big RAM spelled out across the back. However, if you choose the split opening tailgate, that's actually going to bring back the shield design because, of course, they couldn't split the letters in half. And as far as this tailgate itself, it is going to be a manually opening tailgate. So keep that in mind. You're going to lose the power ability that you can get on some of the other versions uh, if you have the traditional tailgate design. Now, as far as this setup, though, this is pretty unique because we can actually pop this area open on the side and then grab this and that allows us to easily access the tailgate this way, or you can also open the tailgate the normal way as well. But this gives you more usability when loading in uh, certain items into the bed. Now the bed itself, it is going to be a little hard to see because it is covered on this particular model, but this is the six foot four bed and uh, tons of room back here. There's LED illumination on all of the sides. There's also rails uh, that we can use for maximum uh, practicality. I also do want to point out that you have RAM boxes as an available option and I certainly would recommend getting that feature because really none of the competition has that and it adds a lot of available storage. We actually checked that out earlier on the tungsten model. And I do also want to talk about your safety systems because that's a area of big improvement for 2025 when it comes to this Ram 1500. If you remember previously, uh, you had almost none of the safety systems as standard equipment. Now you're going to get three out of your four active safety features standard across the entire Ram lineup. Additionally, uh, auto high beams are an option and you also have a hands-free highway system that is available on the Ram 1500, which allows for the hands-free ability, which a lot of you guys are looking for in your luxury trucks. But guys, that's going to be it for this really nice Ram 1500 design on the outside, but there's a lot to show you on the inside. But first, if you're new here, we're brothers and we've been reviewing cars since we were 12 and 16. We may be young, but we love cars. <laughs> and we'd love for you to subscribe to be a part of our Car Confections family. Let's learn a lot, have some fun with all the latest cars. All right, let's go ahead and check out the interior. Uh, before we get inside though, the animations that I mentioned earlier, I do want to just kind of show that off. Really nice look to that. It's very upscale and premium. That'll happen, you know, whether you uh, use the fob to get in or if you use your phone as key, which is another new feature for 2025. This is what the key fob itself looks like. It does retain the RAM limited badging and you can continue to lower the air suspension and remote start it from the fob. Now as I open up the door, of course, the power deploying running board will come down and take a look at the interior. Like I was talking about earlier, the interior is still incredibly luxurious. That part does not change for 2025 just because there's a new tungsten model, even though that model does, of course, have some exclusive touches. Let's go ahead and talk a little bit about the seats first of all. So when it comes to the seats, we are gonna have a real leather. This is a premium leather with a quilted design up here at the top. You have a cloth insert, which will run through the center section. And we also have some color contrast piping. Um, I also wanna point out there's a new color scheme beyond this black for 2025, because you can now get a red and black combination, giving you kind of a, a sportier flair to the interior. Now, in terms of the controls, they're gonna be 12 way power adjusting with four way lumbar support. And you do still have massaging, even though you don't have the 24-way power adjusting seats like the tungsten does, you do still have the power massage, which is a really nice new feature. But let's go ahead and climb inside. Now getting inside's nice and easy with those running boards, as well as the leather covered assist grip. And speaking of leather, almost everything inside this cabin is covered in leather. So let's start to break down some of the material choices. Starting with our door trim, leather, all through here, we have a cool quilting design through there, a piece of open pour wood through the center section, and then leather along the top. That same leather is going to run all across the top part of the dash. You have a quilted detail up there at the top, more wood, and then stitching and piping over here. Again, more leather as it runs through here and down the console, and then you have real wood integrated into this part and more quilted leather through here. So just overall a phenomenally luxurious cabin. There's just a few little details that the tungsten has versus this. And if you want to know what those are, check out our video about that. But let's go ahead and fire up this limited. Now that it's fired up, let's dig into some of the individual details of the cabin. We'll start with the gauge cluster. We do have the 12.3 inch digital gauge cluster, just like, um, 
all of the uh, Stellantis products you can reconfigure through a lot of different types of designs uh, by using that button right there. Additionally, we also do have the available head-up display on this limited trim. Now as you pull back to the steering wheel, we have a nice leather wrap steering wheel with the updated design. It does have wood down here at the bottom. No leather covered airbag cover like the tungsten. That's just going to be an exclusive feature to that trim. You still have the sensor which will be monitoring you if you're using the hands-free cruise control on limited highways. And then over here on the side we have manual tilt and telescoping. Power adjustment is not available on any version but we do have power adjusting pedals. Now, in terms of storage, that's not going to change between the trim levels, so we still have the nice felt line storage bin up here in the front. Drop that down. Here's all the rest of the storage. Huge amount of space in there. We even have, you know, little Ram trucks through the generation. Nice Easter egg. This whole console here does slide back. You can close this down. Actually, you might get a little close with your, depending on what your beverage is. And then up there you have a ton of space. This will also have new dual wireless phone charging pads for 2025. And that's in addition to the fact that we have six USB ports just located right here at that one spot. Now, all this is storage because you have your shifter located up here out of the way. This is still a knurled metal shifter. Feels really nice in the hand. Twist over to D for drive. Go to R for reverse. When we go into reverse, here is our 360 degree camera system. You do have active trajectory on board and you also have some angles which will help you line up a trailer for example. And speaking of trailer, you do have some trailer controls over here and we also have a trailer backup assist function which will basically just allow you to turn this knob in the direction you want the trailer to go and the car itself will come up with all the rest. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the display. For 2025, we do have even more real estate than before. The previous 12.3 inch display is now enhanced to a 14 and a half inch display for the limited trim level. That means you can fit a little bit more stuff in here. Again, you have some functions to control various systems with trailering down here at the bottom. This is also where we can adjust our air suspension through the five different modes. And then you also have a lot of climate controls built into this. So you can make your adjustments to climate inside the display, but RAM does give you physical controls as well, which is something I really like. So you can change the modes, the zones, fan speeds, defrost, all that stuff still physically, but you can also use the display if you want. This is also where you would turn on the massage and go through all of the different modes for both driver and passenger, by the way. Heated seats are going to be included, of course, ventilated seats as well, and the steering wheel has three different zones of heating. Now off to the side, another physical control is the volume knob. With this, we continue to have the 19-speaker Harman Kardon sound system. That's going to be down a few speakers versus that brand new audio system that's now on the tongue skin. Tongue skin. <laughs> Did I just say tongue skin? <laughs> Yeah, that's right, you heard it first on Car Confections, the new trim level of the Ram 1500 is known as the tongue skin. <laughs> Anyways, that does have a very, very premium sound system, but like I said, this is going to be what we already consider to be the best in the industry. We just sampled that, that is the new benchmark, but we want to see how close this 19 speaker is to that 23 speaker. Let's give it a sample right now. Yeah, so overall sound quality of this system is excellent. It remains excellent, certainly one of the very best in the pickup truck segment. Yes, there is a little bit of a difference. It is a better sound system because it has uh, you know, speakers in the headrest as well as speakers back here in the back of the seat if you get the top trim level, but otherwise you're still gonna be completely satisfied with this Hartman Kardon sound system. Now, this is the Uconnect 5 in terms of our software. So I'll just click through a few different settings in here real fast to show you the overall performance. Very nice. You do have built-in navigation as well. You also have wireless Android Auto and Apple CarPlay abilities for those of you who don't want to use the built-in stuff. 
off to the side. We have a new addition for 2025. That is our passenger display. So this is a 10 and a quarter inch display. It just allows the passenger to kind of engage with their own set of things. And don't fret, no matter what you're doing over there on the passenger side, the driver cannot see this display because there's a special foam over top of it. So I will have no idea what you're looking at. Now, moving on up here, we do have an auto dimming mirror. This is the digital camera rear view mirror. And surprisingly on this limited trim level, uh, we don't actually have the panoramic sunroof that is going to be an available option on this model. Now this rear seat area may not be the fully loaded tungsten level of nice, but this certainly is no uh, area to snub your nose at because there is a ton of luxury and a ton of space. So as far as the rear area is concerned, we have about 45 inches of leg room and about 40 inches of head room. And here at Car Confections, one of the things we like to do is bring a ruler so we can measure the amount of knee space with the seat adjusted to Drew, who's five foot eight, I'm five foot nine, and we're sitting at over a, about a foot of space between my knees and the seat back. It's an incredible amount of space. It is larger than really all of its rivals. So very impressive here. That continues for 2025. And also, we're not done yet, we can fully recline these seats. This is the only full-size pickup that allows for that nice reclining ability. It is just so nice to sit back here and just enjoy the recline and the just acres of space that you have in this rear area. Now, as far as the features are concerned, we do have two cup holders up top. We have some nice real wood trim going through here. I honestly like this trim better than I like the tungsten trim. And then as far as the uh, uh, other areas, we have climate controls. We also have four USB ports for any device you may have. Heated and ventilated seats, which I assume will also be standard on the limited trim level. We also have a household style outlet. So guys, if you can somehow manage to have your phone die in the back of the Ram, I think it's your problem. <laughs> Definitely your problem, not the trucks. Now, as far as this area, we do have a nice quilted design on our uh, armrest here. We can pop that open. We have a felt line storage area. We also have two cup holders inside of there. And then uh, as far as the door trim is concerned, it is going to be nicely done. Leather from top to bottom. You have that nice quilting design. You also have a big metal speaker grill and bottle storage in the bottom. And we also have speaker grills that come out of here in the uh, head, head area. So that's a very nice thing to just be sitting back here and have the speaker right next to your head. It really makes the audio quality very good. And it's a truck after all, so of course you can just lift up the seats to maximize the amount of space you have back here. And you also still have this hidden storage compartment underneath of the floor that allows you to hide whatever you're going to need in there. It's not a ton of space, but it's definitely enough for you to put um, maybe some secret things that you don't want seen because it is actually integrated underneath of the floor mat. It's a very cool hiding spot for whatever you're going to need back there. Well guys, here we are behind the wheel of the Refresh 2025 Ram 1500. Now, of course, there is a ton to show you when it comes to the overall driving experience. There's a lot that's changed under the hood, and we can't wait to show you that, but we're also going to be talking about quite a few different things, as you can see on the screen right now, including getting our sound level reading so we can compare to some of those other luxury truck rivals. But first, we're going to go ahead and start with a hard acceleration. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, the power is very impressive with this high output engine. Holy moly. I mean, it just surprises me. I mean, we've been behind the wheel of a lot of rams today. We've done a lot of accelerations and it still is just shocking to me how quick this new ram with a high output motor is. It's insanely quick. Um, now, to remind you guys of what this is, uh, this is a three-liter twin-turbo inline-six cylinder, um, and this is the new Hurricane motor that they have, and it is making 540 horsepower, 521 pound-feet of torque. So, not only is that a big improvement over the previous Hemi, it's also much uh, more horsepower and torque than a lot of the rivals. Yeah, so when you're talking about the competition, um, you know, typically you can't combine your like luxurious trim levels with this type of performance. So being well above 500 horsepower um, usually requires having more of like a performance truck that's designed for off-roading. I'm thinking of things like the Raptor, for example. But this is a, a place where you can actually combine not even the highest trim level with 
that highest performance engine. Yeah. I really think that's super cool to have that much power and um, you know something that's going to be a great benefit over a lot of the competition. Which you know, say we're talking about something like uh, Sierra Denali or whatever, that's going to be you know top out at 420 horsepower, which is happen to be the power output of the standard version of this uh, engine. So if you have the three liter twin turbo with the without being high output, that one's gonna make 420 horsepower and you can get that all the way down to the base trim. You can you can option that on to the tradesman, so it's pretty cool. So I just want to be like, you know, super clear about what I was saying earlier in terms of which trims get which versions. Um, so this will be standard, the high output on Longhorn, Limited, and the Tungsten trim. So that's going to be your top three trim levels. We'll go ahead and have that as standard equipment. Once again, dropping down to that 420 horsepower version, um, that one is going to be standard on the Laramie and the Rebel. And then you can add it on as an option to those lower trim levels I was mentioning earlier. And then finally, those lowest trim levels, which would be your Tradesman, your Bighorn, and your Lone Star if you're in Texas, that's gonna get you the 3.6 liter Pentastar V6 from last year. That one does carry over. It still has e-torque, e but it actually makes 10 more horsepower than last year, so you're up to 315 horsepower. And then starting from the bottom and moving to the top, you have regular fuel, premium fuel recommended, and premium fuel required. Now all three engines do have an 8-speed automatic transmission. Um, this is the same as it was last year. Nice and smooth transmission. Very um, smooth. It's a good, I think, shift algorithm going on there because you don't have to wait very long to have a downshift and everything is nice and smooth so you don't really need the 10-speed that some yeah. of the rivals have. I mean, there's a little bit of a numbers game, of course, that goes on with pickup trucks, but at the end of the day, Probably, I would say eight, you know, eight's what you, eight's what you want. After that, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, and I will say this thing has enough torque and enough power that it really doesn't need to be shifting gears that much. And when it does, I mean, it just really kicks down and gives you exactly the power that you're needing. Um, one of the things I do want to point out is that earlier we were driving this in heavy traffic, you know, where you kind of need to be uh, flooring it and braking and stuff like that and it was very, very useful. I will say this high output version, uh, just how much torque it has on board for passing power. Yeah, absolutely. And, and in terms of you know the overall feel of having an inline six cylinder, obviously this is gonna be very different than the Hemi that you're probably used to having. The Hemi, you know, we have nice things to say about it, but obviously it was an older engine and things are moving on in terms of fuel economy and emissions standards. So we did need something different on board and I think Ram has really done a great job of making this Hurricane engine have a bunch of advantages over the old Hemi. No it doesn't sound like a burbling <laughs> V8 of course but the overall characteristic of the engine is really really smooth. It's It just feels so balanced and refined as you accelerate. It's kind of almost like a luxury SUV experience is something that we've observed while we're driving this. Of course you know the Grand Wagoneer Jeep does actually have the same engine in it so it does make sense that it would remind us of that behind the wheel but that's certainly a compliment because you know pickup trucks of course you know you have different types of engine options available in all the competition but this is probably the smoothest of all of them yeah and really it can blend right seamlessly into the background if you wanted to now, one of the other things I do want to talk about just kind of cruising along here is your ride quality. That's another characteristic that reminds us of the Grand Wagoneer is the ride quality, which is something very uncommon in full-size pickup trucks. A lot of times they have a very trucky feel, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, but this really does feel like a luxury SUV when it comes to your ride quality because of that air suspension that is standard on the limited trim level. Um, it just soaks up the bumps like nobody's business and it takes all the like vibrations that you typically will get in a truck uh, ride quality and it just completely knocks those out to give you the smoothest and best ride in the segment. Right, definitely. Um, like Mason's saying, it just doesn't vibrate constantly. And also when you hit big things, it really isolates that out. And it just is, goes again with that overall luxury experience. And it's good that you don't have to choose the very tippy top trim level. You can still get this air suspension experience. Honestly, on really almost all the trim levels, you can either have it standard or option it on. 
All right, and we somehow found a pretty smooth road here in Texas where we can go and get our sound level reading going 55 miles per hour. All right, so we got a really fantastic um, sound level reading on board with this. 51.8 decibels. That is wow. a spectacular luxury level sound experience. Now, of course, Mason did say we are in Texas. We're on the press drive, so we do have to preface that um, we're not on our usual roads. There's obviously differences in road quality. We were driving earlier on a pretty rough road when we had to take the sound sample on, in the uh, uh, tungsten trim, but uh, this one here it's actually on a very freshly paved road, so I would say normally we're going to see something probably a little louder than that when we test it back home in Kentucky, but still a fantastic score because this is very well isolated from all the outside noise. Yeah, and if you want to find out all of our sound level readings, go to carconfections.com slash sound level readings, where we've tested it out plenty of full-size trucks uh, and certainly there's a lot that you can compare to so you might want to go ahead and check that out and see the quietest and loudest options in the segment all right let's go ahead and do our air ball and slam dunk which is our favorite element our least favorite element about this 25 ram limited now um, i'll go ahead and kick us off with the slam dunk and say that that's going to have to be the exterior design. I think they absolutely nailed the way this truck looks whack when it came out in 2019. And this refresh only makes it look even better. And I especially like the fact that you can get the uh, night edition package on this limited trim level that blacks everything out. It just has a nice overall sporty look that I think a lot of truck buyers are going to absolutely die for. Yeah, and on the airball side of things, this is still going to be a very expensive truck and... We don't have that panoramic sunroof really kind of feel like that should be standard equipment now some of the rivals don't even offer a panoramic sunroof um, nevertheless it still really should be standard at this price yeah we haven't officially mentioned the pricing yet but this is very close to eighty thousand dollars as a starting point and for 80 grand should definitely have at least a standard size moonroof now this might change before we get uh, this video uploaded, but as of the time we're filming this, we don't have any official EPA ratings just yet. Um, but I will tell you, obviously the Hemi version that people previously were buying, that was rated at um, 19 combined. So we are definitely anticipating that this is going to be better than that because that is part of the reason why this was selected in essence to you know secede this version um and then of course the big news really for the rest of the year is what is coming on the horizon so the electrified rams are coming they will be here soon so the the uh, rev ram revolution the rev um that one is a full electric model and that's supposed to come before the end of the year and then the ram charger which is a phev um, that might be a little after that, I believe, is what they're currently, or what Ram was saying earlier today, but they are on the horizon, and those are pretty exciting powertrains because there's a lot of interesting things going on. And at the once those are out, we're going to be up to five really interesting powertrains to yep. match whatever your needs are. I think that's really a, a cool thing that uh, Ram is just making something for everybody, basically. All right, and finally, as far as your warranty is concerned, I do want to point out that Ram Signature Warranty applies here. So it's going to be a three-year, 36,000-mile basic warranty, a five-year, 60,000-mile powertrain warranty. Um, of course, there is also not any complimentary maintenance. And let's go ahead and start talking about the pricing. And let's talk about pricing for this Ram 1500 Limited. Now, uh, we do have the pricing available for this trim level. It's going to start at 77150 which is about a $12,000 increase over 2024 starting point. However, do keep in mind you are getting more equipment as standard equipment uh, standard this year. So that's a big benefit for you all. And you're also getting some features that weren't even offered at all last year, such as the massaging seats. It's also going to ring in about $12,000 less than that fully loaded tungsten model. So it's a pretty significant price savings over that.
Now, if you're looking to buy a Ram 1500 or any new vehicle, we would encourage you to go to carconfections.com slash new car quotes. Now, why you do that is because we have a tool on our website that will connect you with local dealers in your area to get you the best price on your new vehicle. It's also going to give you access to invoice pricing information, which is a great tool for dealer negotiation. If you'd like to take advantage of that, a link is provided in our video description. And guys, that's going to be where we leave off on this in-depth review of the 2025 Ram 1500 Limited. If you enjoyed watching this video or found it helpful in your purchasing decision, we would really appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button down below. If you're already a subscriber, thank you so much for being a part of our family. But if you're not, we want to encourage you to join in on this family. We do a lot of car reviews, and by subscribing, you help us to make better content such as coming to this media drive where Ram invited us out to sample out some of the latest trucks on the market. So please consider subscribing if you haven't already. We'll catch you next time as we sample more of the latest automotive delicacies.